Hello, my name is Casey Gray, currently a prisoner in Ravenloft, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 26. The imagination is a powerful tool, but vividly picturing the fantastical worlds of your campaign can be pretty taxing if relying on description alone. I found that when running a game in which the party traveled without a map, things got a little hazy. It was hard to know exactly where landmarks were in relation to one another, and the world took on a dreamlike quality where it was difficult for the group to gauge how far they had traveled and how close to their objective they were. To fix this, I created a map of the area that was very well received. It was much easier to understand their position when everyone had the same idea of how things looked, and by including landmarks they hadn't discovered yet, I was able to visually imply a number of interesting locations and story hooks for them to take an interest in. Likewise, few of those players were familiar with the monster known as a hook horror, so when they delved underground, I pulled an image reference from Google so that they could clearly envision the creature in the same way I was running them. I provided some narrative description to prime them before I shared the artwork, but to truly convey the appearance of a hook horror is a lot more labor intensive for the GM. With access to such powerful resources like Incarnate and DeviantArt, I can't see why you wouldn't look for every opportunity to incorporate them.